Hi everyone, I'm Casey aka Queso and today I'm going to Paris. So yeah, me and Reese are going to go stay in Paris. We're going tonight, it's Sunday until Wednesday night. Uh, we're staying with my uncle because he's actually in the show Guys and Dolls that's on tour and he's got an apartment right in the middle of Paris. So like we're so lucky because we're just getting to stay with him free of charge. He was like, do you want to come over? I was like, yes. So we literally just paid the flights. Uh, we're going to Disneyland Paris tomorrow. We're seeing his show on Tuesday and going to Sacre Coeur and on a boat trip. Uh, we're going on Wednesday to the catacombs and then who knows what else in between. I'm all packed and ready. I'm at Reese's at the moment as you can see by that behind me. It's not my room. Um, so yeah, Reese is just having a shower um, and then his mum's going to drop us off at the airport. And we should be in Paris by, I think it's like half eight or nine p.m. tonight. So we get there at night time. Um, and then we're going to meet my uncle, go back, have a few drinks and a catch up. And then, yeah, tomorrow we'll be up for Disneyland Paris. Yeah, I love holidays, love city holidays. They're like my favourite and like going to new places. Um, yeah, and I've just been around to my friend Kat and she's put these on. And they're like so nice but i've never ever like never had false nails in my life i'm 21 so i literally that was the only reason i was like i need to like i've never had false nails so like i need false nails and i thought what better time than for going on holiday but now my mum just messaged me before and i couldn't even reply to her because i just i can't how do i even type like look how long oh look how long these are but yeah, I'm sure I will get to grips with it. I might not have makeup on the next three days because although I'm bringing it, I don't even know how I'm going to put it on with these nails. So yeah, that's going to be funny in itself just seeing me cope with these. And yeah, if you enjoy this video and the next few videos, then please subscribe and give it a thumbs up and stay with us. has ordered a cheeseburger I think we've got about 45 minutes till the gate closes so yeah everything's going well so far so on our way to the gate now we're gate 8 and I actually just left the camera like in Frankie and Benny's which is not a good start so Reese had to run back and get it for me um, so yeah that wasn't a good start at all uh, fingers crossed I'm not gonna leave it in Paris Hi, so today is the next day. Yesterday by the time we got back and we had some Prosecco and we had some pizzas and then we didn't go to bed till like half two. So yeah, I didn't have time to vlog because we were busy catching up with my Uncle Ian. And today I've got my Disney t-shirt on because we're going to Disneyland. And this is the amazing view that we've got from the balcony. Pretty good. So yeah, there's a few famous landmarks over there that I don't remember what they are. Arc de Triomphe. Oh, right. And then that's Sacre Bleu or something. Oh, okay. Say hello, Reese. Hello. <laughs> and then this is where Uncle Ian's been seeing me. Say hi, Uncle Ian. Hello. <laughs> and then through here is where me and Reese have been sleeping. So this is Uncle Ian's actual room, but he's been kind enough to give it to us. We've already made it a bit of a mess. So yeah, I'll keep you updated through the day while we're in Disney. So we've literally just walked through the ticket booth into Disney and this is like the first thing that we've seen. I am literally like, I'm so excited, I can't wait, like, I'm like Disney obsessed. I look for ears online so I could wear Minnie Mouse ears but they weren't going to arrive on time. So I've literally just got my t-shirt on but that will do. So yeah, really excited, looks so pretty. I've been to the one in Florida actually, but I was like sick, so, you know, it's been quite a while.
in the ride and I was like so scared before we went on I was so nervous I was like shaking and I just really didn't want to go on it but it was actually amazing and I just didn't even realize that there were loads of rides at Disney like I thought oh, I'm just gonna be walking around seeing like characters and stuff apparently there's loads of rides and my uncle is making us go on literally all of them on a side note I finally have some sunglasses as you can see so I'm not having to squint which is really good although it does mess my makeup up on my nose because it's so hot um, but yeah we're lucky that it is hot weather They're so huge, and we've just eaten loads of nachos as well, so we're going to be really full. So we just finished our food, and we come back into Disney. We couldn't help but go out for some food because we were like so hungry. But we're about to watch the parade, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, are you excited? Very. <laughs> so yeah, we're watching the parade, and it's quite busy everywhere. Everyone's ready. So yeah, I'm really excited like this because I, I just love Disney and so far we've done rides and things but I'm just really excited to see like all the actual characters and things and then from there I already know I'm going straight to the sweet shop. Mouse on, and then I've got chocolate fudge brownie and vanilla ice cream. So 
I'm gonna love this. It's like quarter past nine at night now, and we've just been on the Big Thunder, what is it? Mountain. Big Thunder Mountain uh, roller coaster, and it's like definitely our favourite. So we've been on that twice, and now we're just about to get ready to watch the um, illuminations and firework display, and that's on at half ten. So we've still got a bit, we're gonna get a drink, aren't we? Yeah, it's crazy how long the Big Thunder Mountain is. Yeah, like it goes on forever. What's well, the worst? The worst thing we found out though is that everywhere's open bar getting a drink. So yeah. we can't. We haven't found a drink in like three hours. Like all the kiosks <laughs> are closed, and then like all the shops, like they don't sell drinks, do they? Yeah. Like they'll sell everything else, like but merchandise drinks. and that, but no drinks. So yeah, I don't yeah. know. Everybody's so, getting ready already for the lights. Okay. So we have like an hour to like get ready for lights, or like three quarters of an hour, but we need to find a drink first. And then I will do my best to film these fireworks. We're excited, aren't we? Very. Yes. I'm sure this, um, Everyone getting ready? Are waiting for a drink? Uh, this is the very long queue. I'm going to keep a note of the time. It's currently 25 past nine. What's your bet? Uh, well, what time we get? Thingies. Get the third. drink. Huh? 10 to, uh, 22. 22, okay. Fingers crossed we get saved by them. <laughs> so we've been standing in the queue for half an hour, which is longer than we waited for most rides. But Longest wait for a drink ever. Yay! Thank you. It's all right. We've got our cans of coke. Woo! Bottles of coke, not cans. Bottles of coke. Yeah, I'm so tired. <laughs> we, are, we are getting a bit delusional. Yeah, we've been out. It's been a long day. A long day. What time did we leave? About 11, and now yeah. it's about 10. So yeah, Very 11 long. hours of straight walking. <laughs> And then we've now got, after the light show, we've got like a 45 minute train, haven't we? Yeah, and the light show's not for another half an hour. And then we want to watch Game of Thrones, so, yeah. All in all, we're quite tired. Our legs are hurting. <laughs> I have blisters all over my feet. She has oh about seven. I have blisters all over my feet, which has been like the biggest drama of the entire day. She has about seven blasters or something. And um, and we've literally been to um, the first aid place so that I could get a pla get plasters for my feet. So I tried to put the plasters on and it's still like rubbing my feet really badly. And I wear these Converse all the time so this, then they're the only shoes that I've brought for the whole holiday except for boots So she's thinking night. that she might try and rob my two sizes higher shoes and me to wear my smart night shoes. I was trying to convince him while we were here to wear my sparkly converse even though they're too small for him and they're glittery gold, gold yeah. converse but he said no which I understand. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get our mugs now. Yeah big massive mugs. Yeah. For a big massive mug for a big massive mug. Ha ha. <laughs> we literally like when we were looking around the shops earlier we were looking for 50 minutes and predominantly it was just at mugs. Yeah. And we literally said it's such a big um Oh, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> it's literally such a big thing that we were like, we're going to go away and think about it and then pick what mug we want later. So that's what we're doing now. Yeah, I think we're <laughs> going to get the biggest one we saw. Yes. Right. So we've got the the mugs, which we'll show off later. We'll show Casey's you later when we get home. The proud, mo the proud model woman. Oh, yes. And now... I wanted to show you this. How cute is he? He's like, is he 80 euro? 80 euro. But like, I absolutely love Lilo and Stitch, so I wish I could have him. But we said like, on those um, core machines, you can literally win them for like, a pound. Yeah. <laughs> and they're 80 euro, but they're so cute. So we're just showing you those. And then yeah, the grand unveiling of the mugs will be later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Coming soon. Coming to Paris, and the biggest thing is our mugs. <laughs> yeah.